When you use Photoshop for any length of time, it's important to understand what channels are. So here I've got a nice image, uh, one layer as you can see, and to the right of the layers panel is the channels panel, and I'll drag that off and make it a bit bigger. And as you can see here, we have in effect four channels, well three, but the top one is accommodation RGB. And if I click on the red channel, you see a grayscale image, the green channel, and the blue channel. It's a grayscale image, and you might think, why isn't the red channel in red and the green channel in blue and so on? And the reason is, the amount of gray indicates how much red is in the picture at that particular point. So for example, here, are the trees here in the mid-ground are sort of black, in other words, no red. If I go to green, they're paler, which means they're brighter, which means they have more green. And of course, this is grass in the foreground as well, and so on. And if I click on blue, etc. And if I go back to the RGB channel, which is all of them, you can see, for example, we've got a blue background here of the mountains. Here's green foreground and so on. And the reason this is so useful is you can use channels in all sorts of ways. Channels store the amount of color information, but they also store your masks. And a lot of effects, so for example, if I go to image adjustments and levels, a lot of the effects in Photoshop, or the adjustments I should say, work to channels. So you may be used to playing around with levels, but if you notice at the top, the channel is now split. You can choose RGB, which is all of them, or you can say, I only want to play around with the red channel. See, so I'll muck around with this one, and I'll go to the green channel, and I'll muck around with this one, and I'll go to the blue channel, and you can see each of them have a subtly different histogram. And if I do OK, that's the change. And if I do an undo, that's how it was, and a redo, and an undo. Of course, I wouldn't normally go to image adjustments. I will go to the layer and at the bottom, the adjustments button, and I'll choose levels there. And the point of that is, of course, I get a separate layer with a layer mask. And again, I can split it to red, play around with it, green, play around, blue, play around. And the point is now, because it's a separate layer, I can hide, show, or I can change the opacity to knock the effect down, or indeed, the layer mask. Channels are very, very useful. However, there's something else about channels that's very useful, and that is they save your masks. So let's choose the rectangular marquee tool, and let's click on the background layer, and let's draw a rectangle. This is a rectangle mask. Now, if you were to quit out of Photoshop or close the document down, the selection, the dotted area, would not be saved. So instead, what you do is you go to the Select menu at the bottom, Save Selection, and here we go. What document do I want it in? This one. What channel? I want it as a new channel, a name. I'll call it Rectangle, and do OK. There we go. And I'll do a column. And I'll do the same, select, save selection, and I'll call it uh, Col for column, again, new channel, or I can apply it to the old channel. I can replace it, add it, subtract it, and intersect it, but I'll do it as a new channel, do okay. And there you can see now in our channels, if I click on them, or let's get rid of this, I'll do Command or Control D, these are, and let's rename that Col, these are the selections, but saved as a grayscale image. So if I go back to RGB, I can save the document, quit, come back in again, and when I want those, I can go up to the Select menu and a Load Selection. And here it is, an under channel, I can choose whichever one I want, do OK, thank you very much. And I can go to the Select menu, Load Selection, and I can choose the other one, but I'll add to the current selection, do OK, which is the same one. So let's do that again. Select, load, selection, rectangle, add to selection, do OK. And there we go. You see, and it's added it. 
very very useful and indeed when you save this in a format like a psd or a tiff that also remembers layers and channels they can be used in other applications the other applications can see the channels and then use them to mask out areas which are quite useful so channels are well worth learning and very straightforward and use them they are very very useful